Thanks Morning Brew for sponsoring this video. And this is today's mystery meat. Now be honest, I've cooked a few times in my life and one thing that I learned from it is that I love it. It is not only extremely delicious, but tender, fatty and everything that you look forward in beef. Just in case you are wondering, yes, it is Wagyu. So there's a hint. I am super excited to find out how it's gonna taste dry aged. Have you been able to find out what it is yet? If you did, put it in the comments down below and let us know. As you can see, holding it up on my hand, the front looks extremely different from the back. It's almost like a fatty snake. However, to get this into my dry ager, all I have to do is to put it on a cooling rack and into my dry ager it goes for 35 days. Once the time was up, I took it out and take a closer look. It completely changed color on me. I've dry aged a lot of things in my life, but never this. When we take a closer look, it almost reminds me of porcupine. But like I previously mentioned, this thing is delicious and let me show you why. The first thing to do is to remove this part. And as I did, take a closer look. Come on now, doesn't this remind you of something? Yes, Japanese Wagyu A5. The next step is to go ahead and cut it in smaller pieces. The tip on the other hand does not have have a lot of marbling. At the same time, you are able to see that the protective layer protected the meat. And as I take more slices, you can see where the marbling starts to show. The more I get closer to the back, the more you can see. The amount of intramuscular fat on this is ridiculous. That is one of the reasons this cut of meat is fantastic. Because let me show you how I like to prepare it. The first thing to do is to put it in a pot. Take it outside and let it boil for one hour. You can leave it anywhere from two hours to three hours. Now to have a true comparison, we have to try a real one that was not dry aged. And as you can see, this one here has a complete different color. Could it be because maybe it was an albino? Let me know in the comments down below. Now to ensure that there is no variation between them, I'm using the same exact process. First cut out the tip and slice everything into small chunks. Put it on a pot, fill it up with water and let it boil for one hour. That was perfect because it allows me time to go ahead and make an incredible sauce. And this one is super flavorful and very easy to make and here's how. Into boiling water I threw in some tomatoes, followed by some tomatillos, white onions, one habanero pepper without the seeds, and a wonderful blend of dry chilies. As one important thing you have to remember is to take out the tomatillos after two minutes. Then the next thing is to let it boil for five minutes. If you want to remove the skin from the tomato, now is the time. Because once the five minutes was up, all I had to do is to throw everything into the blender, then I added some raw garlic, followed by a little bit of salt and freshly ground black pepper. Close that up and blend everything on high until it was fully processed. Processed. Because once I have done so, my sauce is ready. It does not get any easier than that, my friends. And I'll be honest with you, it is delicious. This thing is just perfect for any meat. Talking about that, this is what our mystery meat looks like after dry aged and boil. Now I gotta be honest with you, it does not look that appetizing. And that's because of the outer skin. It has to go. There's zero flavor in there and it's kind of chewy. Once I was done with the trimming, you can clearly see how soft this thing is. I mean, come on now. There's no way way that this is not gonna be delicious. Because the next thing to do is to go ahead and chop everything up. Now I'm gonna be making tacos out of this. So I like my taco meat to be nicely finely diced. Once I was done, this is what I was looking for. Perfectly dry aged mystery meat that should taste incredible. Just so you can see the differences, check it out how this one peels easily. It is the way it's supposed to be. Talking about that, once I chop this one up as well, the next thing to do is to go ahead and finish it. For that, I got a little bit of Wagyu fat into the pan and threw the dry aged meat in there. I want to get a nice little brownie on it and season it. For that I'm using a little bit of garlic paste followed by shallots. And we can't forget about salt and pepper. Mix everything well and cook it for about two minutes. As once I have done so, my mystery meat is now ready. A little bit of parsley for presentation and this is the end result. Honestly, it smells fantastic. Don't believe me? Well, you just wait and see. Because remember, I still have the regular one as well, which I treated exactly the same. But if you notice the difference, this this one yield a lot more. The dry age one, not so much. But now the only thing left to do is to go ahead and finish it off for tasting. So I went ahead and toasted up my tortillas. Then I added that wonderful, beautifully cooked meat, followed by that red sauce we just made, a tiny bit of Mexican crema right on top. We can't forget about white onions, some fresh cilantro, and to finish it off, some pickled onions. Now this does 
not only look incredible, but it smells amazing. It's absolutely mouthwatering to me. However, I never had it dry aged. So I'm really curious to find out if there's going to be any big differences or not, as everything now is fully ready for tasting. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to eat. So let's do it. Does that look good or what? But before we try it, I want to thank today's sponsor, Morning Brew. I need to know what's happening in the world, but I don't have a lot of time for that. I have to shop and prepare for whatever crazy experiment I have throughout the day. So with Morning Brew, I start every day informed with all relevant news of the day and get up to speed in business, finance, and tech in just five minutes. Morning Brew is a free daily newsletter that gets away from boring traditional news. And they are witty, relevant, and informative. So I get quick real estate market news together with relevant health news. Or for example, did you know that FDA proposed new rules to move nutrition labels to the front of food packaging and to update what manufacturers are allowed to call healthy? I wonder if that will happen. There is no reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew if you are interested in business, finance, and even tech. And then I mentioned it is completely free and it only takes 15 seconds to subscribe. So sign up for free by using morningbrewdaily.com slash Foods, or just click the link on the description. Thank you, Morning Brew, for sponsoring this video. Now, let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful tacos today, gentlemen. If you couldn't tell what day of the week it is, Taco Tuesday. Today is either Wednesday or Sunday, everybody. We're not quite sure. That's when videos comes out for Google Foods. But for us, it's Taco Tuesday. <laughs> As you guys can see, there are some amazing tacos. I just want your honest opinion. I try to make them a little bit authentic as much as I could, but at the same time with a Google twist. I don't know if the Google twist is going to be good or bad, but uh, we're going to find out. We got to patent that, a Google twist. I like that. <laughs> it's all about the meat. Okay. okay. So if we can't taste so much difference, then we're going to have to try without the tacos. Sounds like a plan? I am not opposed. I got tacos. We got meat. I'm happy. Enough talking. Let's go for it. Yeah, let's go for this one here first. I did double tortilla because I don't know why double tortilla is always better. Let me know in the comments if you agree with me or not, everybody. That way there's no leakage. No leakage. Okay. I mean, tacos, you got to get a little messy. Yeah, it's all good. Tacos is all messy. Got to get that out of there. Seriously? I don't like my pinks. <laughs> okay, let's give this a go. Enough talking. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, come on. Woo -woo! This is amazing, everybody. This is delicious all the way to the top. The meat itself is so delicious, but there's so many flavors going on here. It's really hard to just pick out the meat itself. So I'm looking forward to trying it separately. This is really good, Google. That's why you're here, dear. So you can keep talking, I can keep eating everything. <laughs> That's right. This is a top tier taco. That little red sauce is delicious. <laughs> try the meat by itself. Please, try it. Go for it, don't even wait for me. Oh, that's, that's a real fatty picadillo, bro. It's kind of like ground beef in the texture, but that is like such a even balance of like meat and fattiness. And it's so juicy compared to normal ground beef. It's so unique. Amazing, guys. You've got to try that. It might look gross, but it's <laughs> delicious. It might look disgusting, guys. But it tastes delicious. But it tastes good. It tastes <laughs> real good. It, it does. It tastes good. I don't know what it is yet. Thank God. You guys are going to find out real soon. As long as you show me the picture while I keep eating it, I mean, it looks like that, but it tastes like this. I don't mind. <laughs> Enough. Now I want to know if there's a difference on the second one. Okay. Sounds like a plan? <laughs> second one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, man. That's better. Oh, wow. I agree with Angel. That is better. Oh, wow, everybody. That is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was an evil scientist laugh. My taco got destroyed. It don't even matter, everybody. That's amazing. I'm telling you right now. I feel like a little kid on a candy store. <laughs> on the previous taco, the meat is kind of like not the predominant ingredient that you taste. It's not right in your face. But on this one, it's completely different. Absolutely delicious. Here, try it just to make it official, Leo. My hands are so dirty. I know. It's okay. It's a Taco Tuesday, man. We got to get dirty. It taco matter. Tuesday. Enough. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. That is so much better. Jesus. They're both extremely rich and they're both extremely soft. That one is more bold. It leaves such a wonderful aftertaste in my mouth. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. Everything is just a step above. It's a little bit more rich. It's a little bit more beefy. Flavor is just out of this world. It's just better, guys. It's better. It's better. More meat, more better. That's all I got to say. Gregor, are you guys ready to find out what it is? I'm ready, man. You've been telling me it's 
all this. No, 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 it's nothing crazy. It's beef tongue. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not that weird. Tacos de lengua, bro. Tacos de lengua. Tacos de lengua. However, this is a regular one. And that's what? Dry I, age. Dry age. Oh, <laughs> dry age. Well, that makes a lot of sense. I'm really surprised that you said that this is dry age because you don't really get like that funkiness that you do on a steak. No, 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 no you're right. If you didn't say dry age, I would have not guessed that. Mm -hmm. It's more like uh, more flavor. Yeah, it does something different to the meat, but still better. It's yeah. just bolder. So yes, you made my taco de lengua better. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything's always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody.